Hi, you're listening to Book Chat with author Vivian E. Moore. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Hello and welcome to Book Chat. I am your host, author Vivian e. Moore. Hope everyone had a great week and I hope you're having an even better weekend. All right, so on that note, I'm not going to hold you for too long, so we're going to get straight to today's show. The title of today's show is The Chase and the topic is The Pursuit of Success. Let me say that again, The Pursuit of Success. All right, so um, The Chase and Pursuit of Success or whatever person who wants fulfilling dreams aim for, right? Um, it's that driving force that propels them personally and professionally onward. Okay. Um, the chase may include career goals, wealth, recognition, or just (laughs) in some cases, simple vindication. All right. Sometimes we want to feel justified. We want to feel like what we've done has not been in vain. You know, we want to, um, you know, (laughs) <laughs> just tell all the haters nan and nan, nan now you see what i did okay so you know for that reason uh but whatever uh reason you chase your dreams just know that success comes in many forms and aspirations all right um and we should never lose focus on uh what it is we want that goal that we've set for ourselves um, you know, we would try our hardest to achieve those goals, but I know that sometimes, you know, obstacles are in our path, but sometimes you have to view those obstacles like hurdles and just jump right over them. All right. So we already know that people chase dreams for various reasons. All right. Even if they feel it won't come to pass. And, you know, and if you start out with that mindset, chances are, It's not going anywhere, okay? So try to keep a positive uh, mindset, all right? Try to keep uh, uh, positive goals as well, you know, Um, and and try to keep your eyes, um, you know, on that straight and narrow, all right? Keep your head, keep your eyes in front of you. Don't be swiveling around looking to see what this person is doing and, and who's chasing behind you. You're not worried about them, okay? That's not your concern. Your concern is what you're after. All right. So uh, no matter what, don't give up and uh, and keep pressing forward. Even if you are overlooked on your job for promotions, because, you know, sometimes the pursuit of success is not always a personal thing. Sometimes it's a, a professional thing as well, you know, and and uh, sometimes, you know, you, you want you want a bigger um You want a bigger salary, a higher salary. You know, you want that promotion that you know you deserve, but you were overlooked for it and someone else got it in your stead. All right. So, um, you know, because we all desire greater responsibilities. Well, maybe we don't desire greater responsibilities, but we know greater responsibilities come uh, with those promotions and and things of that nature. So, you know, you got to step your game up. If you want it, you got to get after it and step your game up. All right. But never give up on seeking those opportunities uh, for growth and advancement, even if the odds are stacked against you. All right. Now, some people think that if they aren't where they want to be material wise, that they would never achieve their dreams. Okay, so first of all, if that's what you're in, in it for, then I mean, you may never get there either because everything should not be um based on, you know, how much money you've made and, and, and how much time you made it. All right. Because none of that is true. All things happen when they are supposed to. All right. Keep that in mind. Uh, never give up, never give in. I can never say that too much. I just cannot say that enough. All right. Success doesn't always have to be tied to external achievements for some personal success may involve self-improvement, finding fulfillment, and living a meaningful life, all right? 
And I'm going to quote Biggie, all right? Biggie said it best, more money, more problems. Think about that, all right? Now, for all my entrepreneurs chasing success, uh, if you're starting a business or whatever venture you're, 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 you've set your mind to, I know how frustrating it is when things don't go as planned, all right? I hate it. You know, when you plan something and, you know, you, you have this goal, you have this timeline set, and it, it seems like just everything is going wrong, all right? And all the time and energy invested, I mean, to the point of exhaust, to the exhaustion of your resources, <laughs> it has your head spinning along with your wheels, all right? But there is a way to achieve that dream also, okay? Uh, because where there is a will, there is what? A way, that's right. Now, maybe you like the means to continue, you know, maybe you have exhausted um, all your resources and you just don't know where uh, you're going to get the next dime, all right? But there are cost-effective ways to build your brand and customer base, all right? Uh, and I'm going to I'm gonna throw this out there at you, okay? You ready? Social, social media is the best platform for non-existent, for lists and non-existent budget, all right? Uh, yes, <laughs> I know that you've probably heard it before, but word of mouth, and free advertisement works if you do the work. All right. So you got to, you got to, uh, you have to work for it. All right. You can't just um, put it out there and don't follow up. You know, you have to, you have to keep after it. All right. You have to work uh, sometimes really hard to achieve those dreams and those goals. All right. Not everybody you know, go to bed one night and wake up the next day. And guess what? You know, their dream has already been fulfilled. You know, those are the fortunate ones. Uh, those are the, 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 we're all blessed, but those are the ones that have truly been blessed. You know, they really didn't have to work that hard for it. Or maybe, you know, maybe they did work that hard for it. And maybe they had given up on that dream. But then one day they woke up and poof, everything that they ever dreamt of had come to pass. All right. So I'm not saying that it could happen like that for everybody, but you know, it, like I said, every level of success comes through and from hard work. Okay. You have to work at everything that you do, especially if you want to be successful at it. You just can't, you know, just do a little bit and expect to, uh, get a lot from it. All right. Do the best you can. Um, and just remember that when you do your best, you know, you will be rewarded for that. You really will be rewarded for that. You know, um, success is, is personal and it's not based on the same value system for everyone. All right. Um, but it takes personal investments and, um, because it, it, it's a journey. It really is. It's a journey. You know, the pursuit of, of success isn't for the weak or the lazy. So if you don't have a strong constitution and if you don't have a good work ethic, <laughs> then you really don't want to be successful. You really don't. Because successful people have that drive. They have that energy that won't allow them to stop doing until they've completed that journey. Okay? And I know sometimes things happen, you know, outside of your power that you cannot control, you know. But those things that you can do, do them. Please do them. Um, you know, if you want to fulfill your dreams, you know, if you, if you are, if you want to be, uh, the next best selling author, you know, I know sometimes that, uh, we don't have any control over that either. It's all based on the readers. It's all based on promotion and advertisement and all of those things. But the most important part of that is based on how well you've written that story, how well it's received, uh, you know, by the readers, so if you know that you've put everything in you inside that book, the best you can hope for is that it will be successful. That's the best. You know, that to me, that is the highest thing uh, is to want that book to be successful, to want whatever it is that you're doing to be successful, to do something and say, well, you know, I don't care if it, if it succeeds or not, then why do it? You know, if you don't have, um, if you haven't invested in yourself, if you have not invested in your dreams, if you have not invested in your goals, then 
why do anything? Because it is, it's personal. Okay. It's very personal. And, uh, and it's based on what you want for yourself, you know? Um, so I can't say it enough. You know, you, you just work hard at whatever it is that you do, do your best and, uh, and, and just, you know, just be mindful of all things. All right. Um, and overall, you know, how you decide, you, you get to decide how far and, and where your path leads you. Okay. Uh, remember that not every dream is worth chasing or meant to be. All right. So those people who are chasing dreams that they know are impossible. <laughs> now I'm not saying that all things are impossible because we know that all things are possible. But, you know, we have to put everything in the proper perspective. You know, if you know that something is outside of your reach and um, and you're striving for it, but you're not putting forth the effort to get there, then that's a lost cause. All right. I don't have to tell you that. You already know. But if you're chasing something that you feel within your spirit, you feel it, you know, you just feel it all over you. You know that something good is going to come from this. By all means, keep going. Okay, keep chasing because not only will you will you run it down, but you will conquer it. All right, you will have success in the end. But you got to keep going, and you got to keep going strong. Now, you know, last week I talked about taking those breaks. You know, being being mindful and uh, having meaningful intentions. Well, the same thing applies with uh, that pursuit of success. All right, you have to uh, you have to know. And to, um, you know, to, to, um, to start and to stop and, uh, and to reevaluate, you know, Kenny Rogers, uh, that song, uh, you got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. That's very true. <laughs> it, it not only applies in cards, but it applies in life as well. Okay. So, um, but anyway, uh, in the end, you get to decide what you're going to do because you're going to get out what you put in. All right. If you put a lot in you'll get a lot out. If you put little in, you're going to get little in the, in the end. All right. So, but if you can visualize it, all things are possible. So by all means, keep chasing the dream. All right, guys. So that concludes the show for today. Uh, I hope that, uh, that you found something meaningful from today's show. Uh, and I hope that, uh, that you will not only, um, that you only, that you not only got something meaningful, that you will like it, uh, that you will share it and, uh, and, um, especially on all the social media. Okay. So, um, listen, like share those three things. If you can do that for me, I appreciate those who listen on a weekly basis or a daily basis. Whenever you, you know, you're listening, I thank you for that. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, that inspires me to keep moving forward. Um, you know, I have my own personal dreams and, um, and, and not all of them uh, deal with, deal with anything that's on a monetary, um, scale, but it's just that, that personal achievement of knowing that I've done my best, that I put forth, uh, the best effort that I possibly could, um, to, you know, to, to live my dream. So I thank you for that. And, uh, you know, with all things, always, always, always tell those around you, um, how you feel about them because tomorrow is not promised today may be the only chance you get to say that so on that note i love you i hope you love me back until the next time you hear my voice god bless you and goodbye loved what you've heard on this week's episode well well the answer is simple it would mean the world to us if you could head over to itunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you. Join us again next time when we will be back with more tips, techniques, and cheats to achieve the rewards that you deserve. Thank you so much for your time today. And please, set your podcatcher so that you never, ever miss us. Bye for now, and thanks so much for listening.